Tomorrow is Armed Forces Day, and the country remembers one of our worst tragedies of the First World War. This day is held annually on February 21st in commemoration of the sinking of the SS Mendi steamship in 1917. For more on this, I'm joined by Brigadier General Mafim Kopozi, who is the SANDF spokesperson. Brigadier, th thanks for joining us on the program this afternoon. Why do we celebrate Armed Forces Day? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let me greet uh, uh, News Africa, News from Africa viewers, wherever they are. Uh, we are celebrating this uh, Armed Forces Day to honor those members of the those soldiers who perish during uh, SS Mendy, during the First World War, during the Second World War, and those who are still serving uh, in the SNDF. That is why we have uh, the Armed Forces Day. Now, of course, uh, this year's uh, commemorations comes at a time where we are in the midst of a pandemic. Uh, how is COVID-19 going to change the way that we celebrate Armed Forces Day or commemorate this day? Yes, uh, this year is going to be the difficult year. As you know that in the previous years, the Armed Forces Day, uh, is, it was having a lot of activities which uh, include uh, the career village where people who want to join the Defense Force, they can come and ask the question and get the forms. And we have the parade, we have the nice shoot, and we also have the capability demonstration and they have at the end uh, the parade where our commander in chief address us. But this year, because of COVID-19, uh, it's going to be difficult to celebrate armed forces like before. This year, what we are going to do tomorrow morning, uh, the Minister of Defense, uh, Mama Nosefi Mapisangagula, will uh, lay a read at one at uh, Soweto uh, Cemetery, Avalon, where there is one of the SS Mendy, uh, SS Mendy uh, Memorial. And then after that, in the afternoon at four o'clock, our Commander-in-Chief will address uh, the nation on this uh, day of the armed forces. And then that is why I'm saying that it's one of the difficult year because the activities or the, and the aim of taking the people or taking the defense force uh, to the people, it would be difficult this year to do those things as the people of Malanga, they were really waiting for this day. So the army was also deployed last year as part of a government's response to this COVID-19 pandemic. What is significant about the army's role in this battle? Yes, uh, the army was deployed last year and then uh, even early this year, we were still deployed in trying to enforce uh, the lockdowns. Uh, it was one of the difficult, uh, difficult tasks for the army because we were fighting the unknown enemy. It's better when we are saying that we are going to fight certain people who see them. But uh, at the present moment, the time when we are being deployed, the army were fighting an uh, unknown enemy. And then the only thing which is painful is that even that enemy they were fighting, the army, they were not, uh, there were some of our members who conducted that COVID-19 during their deployment. So far, I can say that during our deployment, our army, the, our army at uh, the Defense Force uh, did very well uh, in, in combating and in helping uh, the police uh, to enforce uh, the lockdown regulations. So you alluded to the fact that uh, this Armed Forces Day will also present an opportunity for those who are interested in joining the army to get more information. So how can young people, uh, especially them, uh, join the South African army? In 2021? Yes, 2021, uh, we, as we know that last year while we were in, uh, we were in Polo Wali during Armed Forces, people they apply and then they were waiting to be called to come and join the South African National Defense Force. But because of the pandemic, it was difficult uh, to continue with that process. And even this year, we have the, uh, the Military Command Council have taken a decision that they will first look the situation before we can start issuing uh, the forms for the people who want to join the Defense Force. At the present moment, the Defense Force, we are not, uh, we have not yet uh, issued any application form and we have not yet uh, uh, started with the recruitment because of the situation. You know that if we 
start recruiting people. These people they have to go and do training. And our training, they are do we will have the large number of which the uh, number of which is more than thousand. So far with the COVID nineteen, we it, it, it took us off our of our plan, but we are working on that to make sure that the intakes are continuing in future. And as we wrap up, uh, how can South Africans get involved in also commemorating the special day? Uh, the only thing which I can say, because of COVID-19, uh, uh, COVID-19, it, it would be difficult for me to say that they must attend where they all this, where they are all uh, uh, commemorate, where they are all memorial memorial uh, site for a uh, main part. I can encourage that the churches, because even the defense force, most of the time during armed forces, we have the church service. I will encourage that the church save the churches, if they can be able tomorrow to have a minute of silence, just to remember those who perished during uh, the sinking of the SS Mint. Well, that was Brigadier General Mafim Gobozi, the spokesperson for the South African National Defense Force, speaking to us about the commemoration of Armed Forces Day.